So Reiner, you wrote the piece on the canceled Darth Maul game. It looks a little bit like it takes a page from the Force Unleashed book. One of the things they told me is that they didn't want it to feel like Force Unleashed. This is more violent, I guess. Lopping off heads, limbs, everything you'd expect a lightsaber to actually do. One of the craziest parts was nobody really knew what was going on. Like they knew they were making a game with LucasArts about Darth Maul. But that's all they really had. I mean, really, that's all they really had. They didn't have a script. They didn't have any writers working with them. They just got like a title, oh, Battle of the Sith Lords. So they were like, well, maybe it's gonna be Darth Maul going against someone else. So that's where they started thinking, well, maybe we'll be creating it. Maybe we will be guiding this ship. And so they started thinking about doing an origin story tale. You know, these anonymous sources I talked to seemed to think that it was canceled just because George Lucas had to ice all the projects that were in the works for the Disney merger. So this isn't a case of a game that isn't looking like it's going to be very good, so it just gets canceled. This is a game that's just like sort of business circumstances pushed underwater. And it didn't even get to the point of it being good or bad. It was all prototypes. It never really got to the point of it being a full-fledged game. There's a chance it could come back, but I would say it's very slim. Very, very slim, especially with EA handling the Star Wars license with all their studios. But if it did come back, you'd play it. I would absolutely play it. Of all the kind of canceled game stories that kind of came my way, it sounded like the most interesting one.